Hey there guys, Wolf Tim 2008 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade your Windows Live Essentials package. Now here I have the up-to-date most current version of Windows Live Essentials and it is it's the 2011 version build 15.4 okay so I want to downgrade this to the 2009 version or the version that was released with Windows Vista now I want to do this for a number of reasons in the movie maker and the photo gallery in particular I don't like the layout of it so it could be because you don't like the layout of it or you maybe just want to stick to what you used to know so what we need to do is first of all we need to go into our programs and we need to uninstall it. So it'll be near the bottom. Windows Live Essentials 2011. Click on install and change. And we want to click this top option here. So I want these programs to be uninstalled. And we'll just view the details. So, we don't need this program window anymore, we can just close that. This is what we're interested in for the time being. This may take some time, please do bear in mind that I am recording video as well. So, as you can see, it's now speeding up a little bit. One of the reasons why you may also want to um, downgrade is that it will improve the performance of your system slightly and also the 2009 version is compatible with all of the operating systems by that I mean it's compatible with Windows XP, Vista and 7 whereas the 2011 version is only compatible with Vista and 7 Even though this Live Essentials update has been out for quite some time, many people still do not know about it. And they are still using the 2009 version quite happily. So I suppose it's really if you want to embrace the change, or stick with what you know. Personally, I like to embrace change, but on this point, I want to stick with what I know. So once this is completed on installing, I will need to restart my system. So to do this I will need to shut off my recorder and rejoin it when I come back. There we go. So I'm going to now restart my computer and I shall see you guys when I am done. Okay, so now we have restarted our computer. We're now back at our desktop. Next thing you want to do is go to your web browser and go to the link that is in the description below the video. It will take you to a Dropbox page where you can download 
the Windows Live Essentials 2009 version 14 RAR file. You will need some sort of RAR archiver to open this file. For example, WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip. You can head over to my channel and watch my video where I will show you how to get the most current version of WinRAR. It's a hard word to say over and over again. For free. So, now that we're here, if you want to click download, very fast download. So now you can close your web browser, go to where your download will be placed. Okay, so mine's here. And I just want to extract this and I want to place it on my desktop so I know where it is. So I can close that and close that. And here we have the setup file. So double click on that. Click yes to any security issues. So here you have the choice to um, choose which programs you want installed. I only want Messenger, Photo Gallery and Movie Maker so I'll just untick all the others. There we go. Click install. No conflicting programs. Starting already. So at the top we have the um, current program it's downloading. At the bottom we have the overall progress of the installation. And like I said, if you have Windows XP and you wanted to update on what was already on the system there, this is the only choice you've got the 2009 version. After that, support is discontinued, I'm afraid. Because you do not meet the um, requirements to download the 2011 package. Personally, I like the 2009 version. Anyway, I just think it looks a lot nicer and you've got more control over it. Yes, the um, new ribbon interface on the Movie Maker and Photo Gallery is nice. However, the Photo Gallery on the 2011 version is too in your face. So I just like the 2009 version. Plus, I think the Messenger is a lot better on... 2009. Also I would like to remind you if any of you are having any computer issues i.e. watching my videos and programs aren't installing correctly I am available to help if you want to download this program here called TeamViewer I will be able to remotely connect to you you are fully in control you can end the session at any time so you have my assurances that I'm not gonna prat about if I can't fix it I can't fix it but at least I'm gonna give it a damn good go sometimes just having somebody having a fresh look at something is all that's needed to get it working so like I said if you head over to team viewer download it and make sure you choose non-commercial when setting it up otherwise you'll have to pay a license fee so we're nearly there 88% I don't know if I'm going to have to restart after this, if I do I'll shut off the camera again and bring it back up when I'm loaded up okay so here you have a choice if you want to set Bing as your search provider I do not. Do you want to set MSN website as your browser homepage? I do not. I do like clicking this however it will help Microsoft iron out any bugs that come up. Have a Windows Live ID you can sign up for one if you don't. I have one I'm going to press close 
that's just telling me messengers offline as you can see this is the view that pretty much nearly everybody will have seen at one point or other I'll of course need to restart just to get my icons back so this is messenger so if I right click on this close all windows I'll show you movie maker and photo gallery as well you also get live call in with this as well So, here's Movie Maker. Didn't change all that much, but hey ho. As you can see, version 14, and it is 2009 edition. Okay, my name is WolfTM 2008. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe if you would, please. It means a lot to me. You can also follow me on Facebook. Head over to facebook.com, search for WolfTM2008 channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.